John Bracci leads the field coming onto the back straightaway. Ruben Vogt runs second in the cheeseburger car with J.C. Carpenter in the local Talladega Racing entry in third, being challenged by Bob Graham. Going into turn three, huge trouble on the back straightaway. Coming into turn three, Zele Perez in the air, flipping violently in the catch fence. Oh my. Bracci leads the field back to the uh, yellow flag to complete lap five and go on to lap six. But you can't help but be concerned for Jose Le Perez in the 40. Um, that was a massive accident. Uh, we have a few replays coming up here for you. A uh, couple onboards. Jose Le Perez and Casey Lester look to be fighting for the same position. And Lester just pushes up into the 40 car. And the 40 car just goes barrel, barrel rolling, flipping in the catch fence. It, it It's a nasty accident. Rene Ricarmia gets a pretty big piece. Uh, he was really looking forward to making this race. Uh, shame he won't, unfortunately. It actually looks like as he drives away, he hits the uh, 22 car of uh, Tommy Urban. Uh, another car that we have an onboard of is Ryan Griffin, uh, one-off this week uh, for Great Lakes Motorsports. And he, uh, actually, the camera gets damaged pretty badly. Uh Shame for Griffin this weekend. Uh, looks like it's going to be ending early just uh, due to this crash. Uh, we have another onboard from Lenny Jacobs in the TMR car. It looks like he didn't get too much damage from this hit, but right now he's sitting in the garage, so his day looks like it's over pretty early. Wow, we actually lose the camera on Jose Le Perez, uh, the driver's camera.